welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. There finally seems to be some progress in lowering data prices in South Africa. Natasha Wendell joins me to discuss the latest developments in this regard. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Vodacom announced this week that it will be reducing its data prices. What has led to this? Well, Vodacom has reached an agreement with the Competition Commission over its recommendations in its final report it released late last year. The Commission, as we know, has been has embarked on a data inquiry, uh, market inquiry, that it's been doing for the past two years now. Um, and it, l the report that came out late last year actually gave the operators in South Africa three months to lower the price, or at least come to an agreement with the Commission on how they plan to lower the price of data in South Africa. I mean, it's been a long-standing issue for many people in South Africa since the data must fall issue that um, arised a couple of years ago. Yeah, and then finally when the report actually came out, uh, Vodacom, MTN and Telcom entered into negotiations with the Commission and Vodacom has been the first to reach an agreement with them um, around the prices that they need to embark on, the reduction of prices they need to embark on. By how much will it cut its data prices and over what time frame? Initially, Vodacom from the 1st of April are going to start lowering its data prices by 30 to 34 percent on certain packages. There is, for example, their 1 gig 30 day um, data bundle will come down from 149 Rand to 99 Rand. And Vodacom also promises that from there the other data prices or the bundles will also be lowered quite significantly. Um, so that will be for 1st of April this year. Then next year they also plan to lower the prices again on 1st of April 2021 um, and to, to what they say will be a cumulative 40% um, rate cut effectively. Um, in addition to that they've started um, zero rating a lot of sites, government sites, um, educational sites and anything that's deemed important in what Vodacom says is a social impact with South African consumers. So emergency services, home affairs um, applications, for instance, they're going to be zero rating those as well. What does this mean for the other telecoms operators? Well, effectively means they need to follow suit. Um, while that guys are still under negotiations, telecom and are still under negotiations with the commission, um, Vodacom has sort of set a precedent here that, you know, that, that the other operators are going to need to lower their costs. Um, the Commission says that within the next two weeks they'll have answers from the both of them because you know the, the negotiations are quite advanced. We don't know yet what the proposals MTN or Telcom will actually bring to the table, but with Vodacom cutting it by 40% over a two year period, it means that they would probably have to match it or, or something similar to that effect. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News Daily Email Newsletter.